a high-stakes gamble on the nation's highways. Nearly 14 states, mainly in the west, now have speed limits of 75 miles per hour, 85 in parts of Texas. The problem, 75 miles per hour is the maximum speed nearly all truck tires are designed to handle. States tend to base speed limits on a political decision, regardless of the physics of what happens when vehicles crash, which they inevitably will. The Associated Press uncovered the disconnect after a National Highway Traffic Safety Administration probe concluded that excessive speed, not tires, were the likely cause of blowouts involving certain Michelin tires, something that didn't come as a surprise to this truck driver in Texas. And you have 40,000 pounds, 45,000 pounds, and you roll in 75 in the, in the pavement, have 120 degree, you know, <clears throat> you know, you're going to have problems. You need to stop every 120 miles and let the tire cool down. Industry experts say costs are prohibitive for manufacturers to make tires that can handle higher speeds. For now, NHTSA contends the most effective solution is regulation to require devices that would prevent trucks from going over 75 miles per hour, which many trucking companies already use. Company trucks are governed uh, at, at a speed limit uh, set at 68 miles an hour so we never get to go uh, the <laughs> cruising speed or the uh, posted speeds. Highway officials in three states that allow trucks to go 80 miles per hour or faster have either disregarded tire safety regulations, wouldn't answer questions about them, or told the AP they were unaware of them. The problem is that all the decision making and accountability is separated and it should be all brought together and that should be the leadership of the Department of Transportation. While tire and trucking industry groups blame the states for allowing unsafe speeds, they do agree that the drivers should be aware of tire limitations. Something NHTSA is considering, requiring maximum speeds to be listed on the sidewalls of all truck tires. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.